<laughs> I remember before we even lived at 5897 G Street. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> we lived over off at 51st and C. And <laughs> we washed each other's hair in a mud puddle outside. Remember that? <laughs> I have a better memory than she does, so I will be one probably to remember these things. If she does remember things, it will be because she's made it up. Go ahead. Hello. We're twins. We're twins. Yes, sir. I am me. She is she. Except when I pretend I'm her. And when we switch, you can't tell which is which. You don't know who you're talking to. Because we're identical, 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 identical twins. What was the address again, sis? 5897G. Yes, we were three. It was 1969. Big and snow. Big, big snow. snow. My first me remem memory is the big snow. Somebody took me and dropped me in the deep, deep snow. Well, I think it was Everett. Did you get dropped in the big snow? I remember making and snow. And sinking, Angel. <clears throat> no, I remember Mom putting snowy. bread sacks over our shoes because we didn't have snow boots. Mm -hmm, I remember that. And then when she brought us in, she put us in a warm <clears> bed. <throat> Gave us some hot chocolate and put us on the warm bed to warm us up. Don't re have any recollection of that. My memory is. She also was very, very, um, I pay attention to detail. Dramatic. And she is also <laughs> very, very much good at making up and, you know, no. dreaming up things. So no. that happened. That really happened. We, she put us in the bed and warmed <clears> us up. <throat> Snow angels. Bread sacks on the boot, on the shoes. So we, our feet would stay dry. She's had so many. <laughs> my favorite childhood memories was earning my way to Girl Scout camp because I earned my way the whole way. Unlike some people, I sold enough calendars and cookies to pay my whole way for 10 days, but I went alone. Anyhow, and then I enjoyed it. <laughs> you weren't there, no. Anyhow, <clears throat> I was pretty much a star Girl Scout. When I earned, when I sold things, I even used the iron and ironed my money before he turned it in. Everything I was, I was she, all in. She can't iron today, but she did so iron her <laughs> money, right, Mom? I did all my Mom ironing. Does her ironing. I did all my ironing in Girl Scouts. And money, it was only money, cash. Only. She only money. cash. <laughs> Anyhow, and another really fond memory is when our youth group went to California and on to Mexico. That was a whole lot of fun. A big, big time fun for my childhood growing up. I did enjoy going on our camping trips and when mom and dad went to Reno, grandma would come and when grandma was at the house, anything goes. We got to eat cinnamon rolls and whatever we wanted. Raspberry bell donuts with powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. Those were good memories. <laughs> I don't like food related memories. Can we scratch that? Um, we had great neighborhood friends. We had a good childhood. We had a good group of kids that we played with all up and down the street. We didn't have social media. We didn't watch. We did watch Petticoat Junction. Yeah, we didn't sit in front of video games. No, we didn't sit in front no, of video games. Kickball or we would one summer we created skate. our own carnival. Remember? We did. Tammy and Kim. We, we Tammy made and our own Ken little games. And and Anna and Ann Osterman and Lynn Decker. We were gonna do the locomotion. Yeah, we would do dance programs for the neighborhood and. <coughs> we were very, very tight neighborhood. Very close. At one point, three sets of twins lived on that little block. No. More sets than three. I think you had Kim and Angie, Rick, Rick and Brad Bays, me and you, the blind ladies twins, Vicky, Vicky, and Terry. there was one Vicky more Jack, set. Terry. There was one more set of twins. There were five sets of twins. Anyway, we were in the paper. They took all of us standing on the corner of G Street with the G Street There's sign. There's something in the water all on G us, Street, said the title. <clears throat> That's debatable. It's not debatable at all. It just depends on what it is that you're cooking and wanting cooked for you. And all. Yeah, if you want a frozen burrito, it's in Merlene's kitchen. If you want a homemade burrito, you go on over to Aunt Neen's. <laughs> if you want chocolate, gravy, and biscuits, go to Aunt Lean's. 
<laughs> if you want me to cook you bacon and eggs and hash browns and toast, I do that too. I don't know. You answer that, AJ. You've no, eaten enough. The of truth bonus. of the matter is, I'm the better cook. <laughs> I mean, that's just all the facts right there. There's no more needs to be said about it. <laughs> I mean, it's probably more fattening than what she does, but I think I cook better. <laughs> she hasn't had as much time because in our later years, she started to work. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, she to doesn't her think defense. I have any work ethic. <laughs> She's got it all. <laughs> she has a good work ethic. Work ethic. I didn't just say you didn't. At young age. She just she's just a late bloomer when it comes to working. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Yeah, I to answer the question simply, I'm the better cook. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> mm. She picked her nose a lot when we were growing up. A lot. Sometimes to the point, she picked her scalp and she'd have sores and she'd pick her nose and sometimes to the point of it bleeding. It was embarrassing. As we got a little older, another embarrassing thing was she, her boyfriend, had this bright blue pickup with a big rainbow in the background, back window of it, which was your dad. That was a little embarrassing when that would get pulled up in front of the house. Let's see. I think that she's done a few other things that was pretty embarrassing, but just out of respect for her, I'm not going to say it on camera. She's so nervous and so anxious and so much anxiety that it just drives you nuts sometimes. Just nuts. When we were kids growing up, she always acted like she was perfect. She couldn't do anything wrong. And when I would try to sneak out or I tried to do something like, I don't know what, she always would tattle on me. She always did all the just bratty things and poly perfect kind of like. Anyhow, she always made me feel like um, I was a criminal or something. She was perfect. <laughs> Anyhow, it wasn't true. She wasn't perfect. She was just acted like she was. That's annoying. Well, when she gets a job, she's a good worker. Getting a job is a little difficult for her. But once she gets a job, she's, a, she's very dedicated and almost to the point of over-dedication. Too dedicated. She's a hard worker and very dedicated to her job. My first thing that I really admire and appreciate about her is that her, she's a Christian and she's always wanted to be, have God being in the middle of her life and raise her family that way and everything. That's what I admire the most about her. And I think she's been a very faithful, loving wife. I think she's been a very good mother raising her kids. Um, and now she's going to be a very good grandmother to Lily and um, she's always kept a clean house. I admire that. I don't, I've never been able to achieve that. She's good at that. That's, that's a really a good thing she does that I've never been able to do. Very good. Ever. Anyway, usually when she sets her mind to do something, she's able to really do it and do it well. Do it very, very good. She's crafty. She has a really good personality. She's fun to be with. I would never want another twin. Just the one I have, only the one I have. I wouldn't trade her in for nothing. And I'm glad I had a girl twin and not a boy twin. If we were gonna be boy-girl twins, they were gonna name us Robert and Roberta. Happy birthday, big 50, big 50. I hope you have 50 more years of happiness. I love you. Happy birthday. Bye. Well, I was always embarrassed when she was sneaking out of the window and I was following on my parents' um, 
obeying my parents and staying right at home in my own bed. And she's off gallivanting down the street or wherever she went. Sometimes her boyfriends she had were kind of embarrassing <laughs> that she would be seen with. Or she would walk to school and do this. You know, you know your microphone's very sensitive. Please cut that all out, AJ. Seriously, <laughs> cut that all out, AJ. She would do this little leprechaun walking to school. We were going to Thurston Middle School, and we would just be randomly walking, cars coming by and everything, and she would do this little skip jump where her legs would go up on the side, and she'd do like a leprechaun clicking her heels together. <laughs> that was embarrassing. It was annoying when she didn't have a prom date and dad had to hook her up. Dad had to hook her up with somebody that worked at the mill's son named Todd. That was annoying. Appling. Todd Appling. I was going to say Todd Black. No, Todd, Todd Appling. She had to go to the prom with him because she didn't have a prom date. And anyway, sometimes she's just annoying. Well, first of all, I've always looked so down much. to her because she's shorter than me, so I look down to her. I do appreciate that she has a big heart. She's always loved my boys as if they were her own. She's always dependable. You can always count on her if you need her for anything, even if it's staying up half the night at the hospital with you because you're there with either your husband or your kids. You don't ever have to wonder if she is... Um, gonna support you or love you it's, it's, there's no doubt everything <laughs> so uh, looking back a half a century <laughs> you wouldn't want it any other way no nope, I wouldn't want, want it any that other way same twin forever yeah yep same childhood same twin same everything same best friend through it all huh yeah. Happy birthday, sis. Can't believe we're already 50. Ah! I love you. <laughs>